It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the flash transition in After Effects. I hope you guys felt the preview look good, I thought the, this hype uh, flashy kind of style look very cool and uh, yeah I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. Also if you guys don't know I've recently updated the TV Glitch Presets V3 editing pack. It now has over 40 effect presets and a lot of bonuses in it and it works super well for music videos and yeah I'm very proud of this pack this is honestly my best editing pack for the moment and if you guys want to check this pack out I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code it's going to be Pelle if you use that code you will save five dollars but now let's get right into the tutorial here so I mean, After Effects, I've added some footage I'm going to be using for the tutorial and we're going to start off by making the transition here. Start off by adding an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y and this adjustment layer is going to be 15 frames in width. So I'm going to go 3 frames, 1, 2, 3, from the uh, transition point here, so before the transition point basically, and then go 12 frames after the transition point. Then I cut the adjustment layer. You can make a marker here, so you know where the transition point is. And here we're going to start off by adding exposure. I'm going to set the exposure to 10 at the transition point here. And then after that, I'm going to be pressing the clock on the exposure. Go to the end, set it to zero. Go to the beginning at the start, set it to zero there as well. So now it's going to look something like this here. Very clean so far. After that, I'm going to be adding a transform. So here I'm going to make a kind of pan and crop uh, effect here. I want to step up the flash transition a little bit. A little bit. I don't, don't want to make just one, you know, white solid layer and then just the <laughs> effect is done. So yeah, I'm going to make a pan and crop effect added to the flash transition here. So you're going to be setting the scale here at the transition point to 160. Press the keyframe. Then go to the ending here, set it to 100. After that, go one frame before the transition point, set the scale to 60. And then go to the start, set it to 100. And it's going to look something like this now. Pretty clean, still have a little bit to do. So open the flash transition adjustment layer here. We can start with exposure, go to master and then here. Mark the keyframes, press F9, and then I'm going to be opening up the graph here. And I'm going to make a pretty sharp graph here, so drag this one in like that and this one down to something like that. Then do the same for the other side, down to something like that. Keep this one as it is, because I want to keep the flash flashing a little bit longer. So this is the flashing now, looks better. Now quit the graph, go to transform, mark the keyframes. Press F9, open the graph, and here drag this one in like that, and this one in like that as well. So it's going to make this sharp zoom out here. Here, drag this one down, that's going to look clean here. So this, is, this is the look we got now, pretty clean, quit the graph, and we're of course going to be adding motion blur to this. So click this one here, this is how it looks so far. Pretty, pretty clean. And as I told you guys earlier, we updated the TV Glitch presets V3, and I'm just going to be showing you guys one of the effects from that pack, which I think looks absolutely amazing. And you're going to be making an adjustment layer. And here I'm going to be adding effect 20. And this is how the effect is going to look. Super, super cool, and <laughs> works amazing for your music videos. If you guys want to check this pack out, don't forget to use the discount code I gave you guys earlier. Pelle, if you use that code, you will save $5. Let's get back to the flash transition now. Now to fix this uh, black section here, basically, we're going to be adding motion tile here. Drag this one above your effects here. Then here we're going to be pressing mirror edges and increase the output height and the output uh, width. Just increase it and you will get something like this here. It looks super clean now. This is how it's going to look now. Very, very clean. And now you have just elevated your flash transition. It's not some boring 
you know, <laughs> it's not some boring white solid layer drag on the opacity. Like this is a clean looking flash transition here and I think it looks very cool. And I hope you guys also think it looks cool. Now you can duplicate the flash transition by pressing Ctrl D, add it to the other transition points, Ctrl D. Now it looks something like this here. Very clean. If you guys want to spice this up even more, you guys can add some shakes to this. And I'm going to be using the Shake Sauce 2 plugin here. And when you're in here in Shake Sauce 2, you can go to keyframed shakes here basically. And I'm just going to go to the transition point here. And you can use zoom here, for example. And this is going to create this look here. So it's flashing and also shaking at the same time. Very, very clean transition here. We can go to the next transition point here. Maybe we want some twitch. It's going to look something like this here. Super clean. And the third one, a quick one. So the quick one here, double click on that one. It's going to create the shake here. So now it's going to look something like this. Absolute amazing flash transition combined with Shake Sauce 2 shake effects basically. So cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to let the result speak for itself. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys yeah liked it as well. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website editingvisuals.com. Or we have amazing editing packs just like the one I showed you guys before. And don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.